My name is Mike Widdison. I'm, I'm volcanologist at the Open University. Well, I was lead volcanologist in an international expedition aboard an American research ship called the George's Resolution. And this is equipped with a giant drilling machine which allows us to take cores from the bottom of the ocean. Early in October 2009, we sailed from Yokohama in Japan. Uh, it took us a couple of days to get to the site and then we started drilling in a zone called the Shershoff Massif and as we were doing that we heard about a typhoon uh, this typhoon is called Choi Wan and it was a big one and it was making its way up through the Marianas Islands and up towards Japan and we knew that it would change course and come right over where we started drilling and we had at the time a three kilometer drill train hanging out the bottom of the ship. And it took us about 12 hours to pull up the uh, drill train, all the pipes, and put them on deck and dismantle. But we made it just about in time. So instead, we moved far to the south and drilled on another part of the mountain chain called Tamu Massif. And it was chance, but that turned out to be the most important change to our plans because what we discovered was something quite unexpected. Well, we started as a, primarily as a geochemical expedition. We were trying to discover the source of uh, lavas which had formed this undersea mountain chain. But instead, we started to drill into very thick units which are characterised by a lot of little bubbles. These white areas in the rock are, are bubbles which should be preserved very similar to uh, the bubbles that you get in a, in a glass of lemonade. The other thing that we, we discovered about these lava flows were that the crystals in the middle of them were very large. And the large crystals can only grow if the lava takes some time to cool. And so we knew we were drilling very, very thick lava flows which had cooled over a long period of time. So the, the seismic data from these lava flows showed that they were all flowing downhill radially away from a single point and that single point looked like the crater of a volcano. So what we now had was a huge single volcano with radially dipping massive lava flows all around it. And so Tamo Massif was not a range of volcanoes, it was a single massive volcano sitting on the seafloor. Its base was about the size of Britain and its dimensions are comparable to the largest known volcano in the solar system, that's the Olympus Mons on Mars. And this kind of experience doesn't happen often in science. Um, Having done this for 20, 25 years, this is probably one of those eureka moments which we all hope will happen to us at least once in our career.